List and hearken, gentlemen, that be of free-born blood. I shall tell you of a good yeoman. His name was Robin Hood. Good evening. I'm Pierce Brosman. He is a legend that goes by many names. The Earl of Huntington, Robin of Loxley, Robert Fitzsooth, and Robert Hood. But to centuries of storytellers, he is simply Robin Hood. Who was this outlaw? Did he actually exist? Was he real or just a medieval myth carried on for 800 years? It is a question that scholars still debate today. And for the next hour, we will explore the myth of the hooded man. Was he fact or fiction? Tonight, we will find out. That's what most heroes are like. It's one of the most famous legends in the world. You know, they say there's seven basic stories, and I don't know what the other six are, but I'm sure one of them is Robin Hood. Other legendary figures like King Arthur, William Tell, and even Jesse James have become part of our modern culture, but none with the romantic flair of Robin Hood and his band of merry men from Sherwood Forest. He robbed the rich to feed the poor, waged war against corruption and injustice, and won the heart of the fair Lady Marion. <laughs> and when it came to bows and arrows, it is said that Robin was the best in all of England. He could pinpoint a target at 300 yards and hit it dead center. Each generation would add to it. At the turn of this century, cinema was a new phenomenon. Even then, filmmakers were looking for a blockbuster film to bring people to see their product. What better idea than Robin Hood. Now, many people think that the first Robin Hood was the 1922 version starring Douglas Fairbanks. In fact, there were five silent Robin films prior to Fairbanks. Three were British films, and two were from Hollywood. Bringing Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, to the silver screen was just about as difficult as well, it was just about as difficult as Robin Hood's legendary fight with Little John to gain control of the band of merry men of Sherwood Forest. The props, the costumes, the weapons, all had to create a strikingly authentic 13th century England. Small task. It took four months of grueling filming and an army of workers in merry old England that rivaled the once mighty Sheriff of Nottingham. The clothes make the man. The filmmaker's goal was to create an authentic 13th century world, paying close attention to even the smallest of details. For instance, all the bows and arrows, well, they all had to be made to the actual sizes, which were five foot six inches, true to the period. Also, at that time, a full-grown cow would have been the same size as a Great Dane. <coughs> well, even though some of these uh, cows were only going to be in the background of a few of the shots, the filmmakers searched for weeks for, well, short cows. I don't know anybody that wouldn't. What is it that has allowed this character of Robin Hood to exist for seven centuries? Well, for one thing, he stood up for the common man. He was fearless in battle, but yet he was a compassionate friend. He was a free-spirited adventurer, but had a pledge for only one woman. And yet, he was considered a rebel, with a cause. It can be said that Kevin Costner, the new Robin Hood, is also a rebel with a cause. <laughs> he bucked the Hollywood system, didn't he? Fearless in battle, and made dances with wolves. A film given uh, not much chance of succeeding at the box office. Well, <laughs> seven Oscars later, Kevin is still a family man and has garnered huge popularity by his on-screen portrayals. Amidst the darkest glades of Sherwood Green, in the deepest part of the wood, some say can still be seen the ghost of Robin Hood. So, did Robin Hood really exist? Do we really want to know, after all, if it were to be proven that he did not exist, and that has never been proven? Who would fight for the underdog? 
who would wage war against corruption and tyranny, who would prove that chivalry is not dead. Robin was not only a celebrity, but also a character of mystery. He lives on in our children and in our children's children. 800 years ago, in a dark forest, in medieval England, there lived a hero. A man so remarkable that his name and his story became a legend. A legend that will live on forever. And tomorrow night, with the premiere of Robin Hood, the Prince of Thieves, Kevin Cosner will be the next to string the bow, ignite our imaginations and continue the legacy. Long live Robin Hood. I'm Pierce Brosnan. Good night.